Hi everyone, welcome back to the Dally Society. My name's Kristen. Today I have got a bit of a chatty catch up style vlog. I'm gonna talk about a couple of things that I am in the process of planning to make. Uh, one thing I've started to make and another that I have finished behind me um, that will be coming up in the next vlog. I'm gonna take some pics because it is so awful outside. It's uh, been raining all morning, the wind has picked up. So I thought I have to bring you inside today. I know a lot of you love seeing the garden outside, but the wind is terrible. So it's a real shame because there's a beautiful display on the magnolia tree. I'll put some pics in video so you can see what I mean. And when you see that kind of beautiful floral display and the wind picks up, you know you're gonna lose quite a lot of uh, the flowers, but it's just so beautiful this time of year, that real hint, uh, that pop of pink when it comes out to the bare garden out the front there. So it's just such a pretty time for things blooming. And it means that spring is coming here in Australia as well. There's so much happening I need to fill you in on. Um, the boxes for the Neptune's Daughter have all been sent out. I know a lot of you have got uh, yours already. And thank you so much for the beautiful, kind words. I know you're all enjoying opening up those. Uh, as well as that, there's unboxings from uh, so far from Hayley from the Hay Meadow and Deb from DB Designs if you want to see that unboxing. If you don't and you want the surprise still and you're still waiting for yours, I would avoid watching just yet. But I can't wait to show you the make from that box because it has got a bit to tie in with one of the next episodes I'm putting together at the moment. Uh, and that is all about shirt dress sewing. I want you guys to write in the comments below what your favorite shirt dress is to make whether that be big four, indie, um, maybe it's an old favorite you've sewn for years, write in the comments below uh, because I am gonna to put together a shirt dress style vlog with all of my favorite shirt dress patterns and I wanna hear what yours are uh, and I'll read your name out and, and exactly what pattern you've suggested because that way a lot of people can uh, read through the comments and get some inspiration as to what kind of shirt dress to make. So that's coming up very shortly as well. Now, if you don't know my name, I'm Kristen and this channel is The Dahlia Society, which is all about sewing your own wardrobe. We talk about pattern and fabric inspiration as well. And we also have an online store here in Australia that I do ship worldwide as well. And the exciting thing, if you are a newsletter subscriber, uh, and if you aren't, make sure to head over to the website and you can pop your email address in there and you'll be notified to when fun things are happening. And at the moment, you'll see just last night, we put out the pre-orders for the advent calendar. These will be being shipped we're in the first week of November. So we do pre-orders now as we did last year so we can prepare them. There is uh, quite a big number to get through. So I must make sure that you all read the um, description there. We can't combine orders. Uh, and if you want uh, two boxes, you must do two separate orders. We can't combine any orders uh, under the advent calendars because of the sheer volume that we're doing and also when they're being um, sent out and launched is still a couple of months away so we, we can't really um, be mixing through bits and pieces with that so make sure that you read the description there so definitely no mixed orders um, you can order two if you're getting quick enough uh, but make sure they're on two separate orders that way it really will make it a lot easier for when um, Phoebe and mum and I start packing because it is a huge process. Uh, it's so much fun to put together and we really love doing it. And we're thinking of so many amazing ideas. Um, it will be 12 days of Christmas. And like uh, with last year, we did that. We had a great uh, reception from you guys. You all loved it. And we do a mix of um, independent artisan made gifts, so sewing notions. Uh, there's edible gifts, there's some scented gifts there as well. So a big mix of uh, well-known brand names and kind of local makers that I think you've got to love. And we're also um, be having some sneaky little hidden things in there as well for you to enjoy. I can't say too much more other than we'll be doing things like some sneaky little um, exclusive Vlogmas style videos. There'll be some codes for pattern discounts from some of your favorite pattern uh, indie pattern designers as well. So it's really going to be fun. And as is uh, 
every year I do a vlogmas style uh, thing in December where every day uh, I usually try and get a vlog out every day and it's kind of like day in the life kind of thing and I'll be unwrapping the calendar as well so really exciting so yeah we have got limited numbers on those we've already sold uh, well, I would say half of these from just from last night from one email going out so it's always the best way to keep up with um, new and exclusive style things happening in the store is to be uh, an email subscriber so you don't miss out so so it's really going to be a fun time of year and I, I can't believe we're already thinking about Christmas but you know it's a lot of preparation uh, and to do it the way we want to do it we want to be really organized and have it um, all set up and, and fun for you guys as well so yeah really exciting so head on over to the Dali Society store you'll see the banner on the page there that you can click through with your pre-orders and don't forget we also accept things like after pay if you're wanting to split the payments up over four payments you can do that with after pay as well um yeah so fun times happening um i want to also talk about um some things that happened this week we've actually been really really busy phoebe and i went into the city on wednesday we've been um very very excited to be invited to become a liberty stockist which is just beyond um beyond words for me so really exciting to be stocking one one of my favorite brands uh in the daily society store i know a lot of you guys are liberty fans as am i and it's definitely on uh, phoebe and myself on our bucket list to go to the liberty of london store one day we will get there i uh, i've just said to her can you imagine us in there we would have a field day um just such beautiful prints so we were very um very excited to be invited by the head of uh, australasian sales for liberty to go to a meeting uh this week at the windsor in melbourne we met up and had a lovely morning there discussing uh what we wanted to stock and just different options and things like that so it's uh yeah it's uh going to be a very exciting time in the next few months to see what comes in the store we are planning on having a lot of new stock arriving in the store as well uh, for spring so that's all happening uh, in the next couple of weeks uh, before I get started on um, what I'm making as well I know a lot of you have got your name on the wait list for the so different pink city collection patterns they are coming I uh, would put another big order in from the UK that uh, Laura has been away on holiday and as soon as she got back she made sure a priority was to send a big box of those beautiful patterns over because we sold out of nearly all of them um, they are one of my most popular patterns um, and to go with that we've also got the block printed uh, gorgeous uh, Indian block printed fabrics um, very similar to what she's got on her patent envelopes so that'll be coming in next week's vlog I'll be um, getting Phoebe on screen as well we're going to be going through our new arrivals because we haven't done that we haven't had much in lately so we're going to be going through those as well uh, and some new pattern deliveries coming we've got experimental space coming in which is really popular patent company with you guys as well uh, and as well as that we've got I am patterns will be launching um, yeah there's a quite a few new pattern companies um, new patterns I'll be stocking I've also gotten hold of chalk and notch patterns we're going to be stocking Friday pattern company um, also green line studios and uh, Liesl and co so there's so many new things happening in the store um, and very exciting times here uh, the Dahlia Society so yep live in my wildest dreams here to be doing what I love every day and having a store where I get to stock all the things that I love and I know you guys are going to love just as much so it's uh I feel very very blessed and lucky to be doing this so thanks to all the support uh, that you guys have given me I, I really um I, I really it means the world to me it's, it's wonderful so uh today I've got on uh, an iron patterns top actually it's talking about iron patterns I was talking to Benedictine who um the sisters Blandine and Benedictine I think Blandine may have just had her baby so Benedictine um was conversing with me about what we'd like to stock in store and I do love I am patterns and I've got a I am I think it's the zebra I am zebra or is it the lion I always mix them up there's two patterns I am lion I am zebra and they are fantastic for sweater knit and I've got the the lovely um billowy bishop sleeve with a deep cuff and it's got the buttons on this side as well I made this um I think it was in the first lockdown it was in 2020 you know those times are just etched into your mind because you especially for a lot of us here in uh, in Melbourne that we were locked down for so long like the rest of the world we all went through it together and you do remember things that you made in that time are you like that do you remember the lockdown makes that you made uh, one good thing was having lots of time to sew it was amazing having that um 
that time that we, we never really have now when life gets busy again. Um, so it was great and it was when I first launched the channel as well, 2020, um, 20, end of 2019 it was, but 2020 was when things really started happening. So I've got a lot of memories there, things that I made um, and I still love wearing, but it's really still quite chilly here. It's um, 12 degrees, you know, it's raining and awful, but we're still needing the sweaters here in Melbourne and we're looking forward to a bit of spring, summer and spring and summer dress and blouse making. I just can't wait for that. Uh, we've got a wedding tomorrow. My niece is getting married, so it's all indoors, uh, and I'm going to be wearing my purple cobra corsage dress. Now, I have got it here to remind you. Now, you may remember this beautiful fabric was in the deluxe box for the Jewel of the Nile uh, for July, and I made the Marique dress from Coffee and Thread, so I'm going to be wearing that because why wouldn't I? That fabric is amazing. Uh, and our next deluxe box will be... I think it'll be end of September, early October. The uh, theme we've got dreaming up at the moment, we're just waiting on confirmation from some fabric. It'll be a really exciting brand that you all love, and I know that. Uh, and yeah, so something very interesting and pretty for spring. So I'm gonna be make, uh, wearing that tomorrow. I love it. But how good was this? I actually managed to find myself a pair of shoes to wear. Now, look, I do love the look of a heel, but can't really do it anymore. I feel that I just, Comfort really is number one for me, but if I can get something that looks really pretty, it's even better. So when I found these shoes, these are from Diane Ferrari and they are super soft brand. I actually managed to pick these up on sale and look how beautiful the color match is. Uh, and they've got a really good size heel which is even better, not too high. Um, these are, I've got quite a wide foot. So these are called Super Soft brand. So I don't buy the regular Dyna Ferrari fit because they're too narrow, but I buy the Super Soft fit. So if um, I'm not affiliated with them at all, this is just purely what I like to wear and I love their boots. I managed to pick up a couple of pairs of boots from them as well. Oh look, I'll show you guys. I'm sure you're all interested if you love boots and shoes like me but these are great because they're a nice wide fit but even though they look pointy they're actually quite wide and they've got a great little grippy base so if you want a shoe to match that go and head over to look at their website I know that um, the Dyna Ferrari is an online store they do stock some of their shoes in Maya sometimes I think Williams and Mathers do as well but I don't think they had these purple ones these were directly from Dyna Ferrari online but how beautiful are they so I'll be wearing those tomorrow I'll be all purple feeling beautiful and um, that color is one of my favorites and they also had a deal on when I bought them I think they were like buy one get one half price and then an extra 30% off sale on things like that so I ended up getting a really lovely camel uh, pair they're in the super soft as well and this suede in the black because I've got so many floodies flat you know little ankle boots and I wanted something nice with a heel I could wear with a shirt dress <laughs> talking about shirt dresses and I think they are amazing so and look I wore them out to the city on Wednesday and felt really comfortable was walking around quite a bit um it was really fun actually um, meeting up with um, Peter from Liberty um went to the Windsor but we also got managed to go out for lunch we went to I think it was Yakimoto, which is on Collins Street, and it was amazing. We went, um, it's about three flights upstairs, and they had this incredible kind of really trendy restaurant. Phoebe um, is a huge fan of Japanese food, so, so are we. But we went in there, and it was all like neon lit up, um, music, sort of really fun, funky place to go and visit. So I can highly recommend that the ramen there was beautiful. Um, and upstairs, I think they have a bar as well. So um, yeah, there's so much uh, nice food to, to eat at in Melbourne and we love heading into the city for a day and um, spending the day walking around. But yeah, that was a really quick visit in and out. We had lunch and we came back home and um, I had heaps of orders to get through. Um, yeah, so it's been really a busy time. So you can see that I haven't done a huge amount of sewing, but behind me, I've got the beautiful uh, Tazuti Verona jacket that is in that really gorgeous willow colored boiled wool. I'll put some pics up very shortly of that because um, that will be one that I think a lot of you will love to make. It was really easy. And of course, it's one that needs boiled wool or felter wool with the raw edges. So there's no lining in that. It's really a quick make. It doesn't take a lot of fabric. 
and I think I had it pretty much made up. Uh, I think a good hour and a half and it was done. So for a coat or jacket, that's amazingly fast. So that is one. I needed a little crop style jacket because I do have lots of long, uh, very large style coats, but nothing quite like that. So it's got a quite a swing element to it as well. So uh, I sized down and made a little large because I know from the past making Tazuti coats that can be very, very roomy and sometimes the, the arms and the shoulders will just swamp me. So the large was spot on just right. So really exciting. So the next thing I'm making now uh, is an Italia jute pattern. And you know what, believe it or not, other than the coat I made, the Alex coat, I haven't made any Italia jute patterns and they're so popular. I know a lot of you love uh, heading into the store to buy them and they have got a really exciting range coming out at the end of October for their winter range but I'm going to be buying most of it in because I know that a lot of the viscose we can wear all year round it is just such beautiful fabric they've got a lot of um, new patterns coming out to coincide with that as well so make sure that you keep an eye out for that and uh, also in the newsletter and I'll tell you as soon as they come in because I'm uh, very excited to be looking at the new range but this one's a very firm favorite of you guys it's the Frida blouse and I have traced off my pattern and I don't like tracing I must say it's one thing I don't normally do but with I know with the Telia Jute patterns that because they are overlapped I had to get my tracing paper out and you know what I quite enjoyed the actual therapy of doing it and I, I think I know why people actually choose to trace off now um, you know life gets really busy and sometimes it's just quick and easy to cut out a pattern but if there's just something really nice about keeping your pattern intact, folding it all up neatly and tracing off a size. And, you know, that way if your size does fluctuate, you've always got your pattern there ready to go. But I've um, made a size 44 and I think graded out to a 46 a waist because I wasn't really sure about how much ease, even though I can see it's sometimes it's hard when you haven't made a lot of the patterns to see how they fit. Um, but I'll also link and I'll link it a bit as well. That's the line drawings on the Frida. Now I am making my Frida in this beautiful fabric that I've had in store for quite some time. It's the gorgeous Zykel. I think it's pronounced Zykel. Zykel. It's from Mason Bloom Mood and it's a viscose and that beautiful kind of blurred paisley effect. Um, that will, I think, will look amazing with my willow coloured boiled wool jacket from uh, Tazuti uh, patterns. But that, I think, I, I, I snapped a piece up because I can see it slowly, slowly going down. And, you know, so many times I've thought, I must grab some of that Mason Bloom Mood fabric and it ends up selling out. I know the Adele, I think, is just about sold out. Maybe it has sold out with that beautiful um, red floral. But I thought, look, I can't miss this one because I've it was so unique when it first came in and the other Sibyl one is one I've got my eye on as well before it does finish off but I actually love um, the buttons I've chosen to go with it um, are a Liz Taylor button and they are the most gorgeous little excuse my terrible nails but this is the kind of plummy iridescent like almost mother of pearl but you can see it has a shank on the end of it and gold the back so really really pretty but i think that will match this fabric perfectly um pick up a bit of that purpley color so hopefully you can see that's focusing but yeah that's what i've got happening this weekend i'm going to be getting well not tomorrow because of the wedding but maybe sunday i'm going to be getting some sewing happening and i'll have some pics to show you next week for my jacket and my blouse as an ensemble now another thing i picked up uh, a couple of weeks ago on sale and I don't buy a lot of fabric from other stores now because I do stock my own but I was looking for something really unique and special for frock tails now I know a lot of you have got frock tails tickets for the Melbourne uh, frock tails which is I think it's the 11th of November I think that event has sold out now but um, I am one of the main sponsors for that so really exciting to be there uh, Phoebe and I'll be going and I'm going to try and get lots of pics and maybe a little bit of video for you guys. I'm not really sure about that yet, but I would love to be able to show you guys a bit of footage from the night. So I am uh, planning on making a dress that I've seen. Oh, just, it was just stunning when I first saw it. I'll show you the fabric that I picked up first. This is a beautiful, uh, it's like a satin viscose embossed kind of print, but it is amazing. 
And I got that on sale at Tazuti when they had uh, 20% off. Uh, I'm not sure if they have any left. I'm sure to go ahead and have a look, but it is just the most amazing print. I wanted a print. I wanted one solid color, but I didn't want it to be plain. And I'm, I wear a lot of prints, but I just found having that self print with a bit of lighter color through it would be amazing. Now, what I've got planned to make with this is the Deer and Doe Circe dress. Now, that is that beautiful one with that goddess-like sort of um, sleeve. It has got the splits in the sleeve. It's amazing. So I'd love to make the maxi version of that for frock tails. But, yeah, that's what I've got planned. I think that fabric will come up really, really beautiful. So, um, But I might have an episode coming out in the following months about maybe some cocktail or evening wear gown patterns. I've done that in the past. I've also done one on wedding attire, wedding outfits that uh, people have loved as well. So head back through my um, all of my videos, you'll find one that does say, you know, wedding dress ideas, wed wedding guest ideas for making beautiful frocks or jumpsuits as well. So that, um, that was done, I think, maybe two years ago now. Time just flies, but that's what I've got planned for that. You can see I'm really feeling the green lately. So, yeah, I'd love to hear what you're making. Uh, don't forget the next uh, vlog that will be coming out about the shirt dresses. I need your ideas. I want to hear what your favorite shirt dresses are, ones that you've loved making up and loved wearing. And, yeah, write them in the comments, and I'll be sure to read those out in that episode so you guys can get a bit more inspiration as well. Don't forget, if you want an advent calendar, head over to the website because they are going and getting snapped up very, very fast. Um, we have got limited numbers on those, so that will be happening at the moment. I'll link the store underneath um, so you can head straight to that as well to make it easier. And we'll catch up with you all very shortly for the next episode. Take care and bye for now.